فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا دا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على من أرسله الله رحمة للعالمين سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد We were in the explanation of the kitab Nawaqid al-Islam written by Shaykh al-Islam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab Rahimahullahu ta'ala We were on the third naqid the third nullifier which is Man lam yukaffir al-mushrikeena anyone who does not label or consider or does not believe that the disbelievers are disbelievers or shakka fi kufrim or doubts their disbelief or or he justifies their belief he brings an excuse for them or sahaha madhabahum kafara ijma'an by consensus of the scholars he is a disbelievers and in our last lesson we mentioned that the kufr and the shirk here that's been spoken about it is the kufr which is al wadhul jaliyu al ma'lum al thabit lada munkiri pay attention the kufr that we're speaking about here that the individual is the kufr that the person is is a kufr which is wadh it's clear it is jali it is it is apparent okay it is ma'lum it's known by everybody it's thabit it's established even to the one who is falling in the kufr he knows he fell into kufr even he doesn't deny it the jew will tell you i'm not a believer of your religion i'm not a muslim so he doesn't reject that Okay, nor does the Jew reject it. That's what we mean. That's what is meant by it here. And we mentioned that the statement of the Sheikh here, which is kafara ijma'an, who transmitted this consent, this ijma' man illadi naqalahu, who transmitted that there is an ijma', okay, man lam yukafir al mushrikina, the one who doesn't do takfir of the mushriks, or he doubts their kufr. That he is a disbeliever. Who are the, who are the scholars who transmitted that consent? We mentioned three scholars. The first one is Al Qadi Iyad in his Kitab Al Shifa. Al Qadi Iyad, he has a Kitab called Al Shifa where he talks about the Hukuk Al Mustafa, the Prophet's rights. And in that book of his, he says, "Waqam Al Ijma'u," the consent has been established. He says, "Ala Kufri," the consent has been established on what? The kufr of the individual who does not make takfir on any of the Christians or the Jews. And does not also make takfir on anybody who goes against the religion of Islam in its fundamental points. Or or he doesn't make takfir of the individual who withholds from the takfir of the disbelievers. Or he even doubts it. Also, the scholar that transmitted it is also Shaykh al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah Tarahimahullah. He transmits it in his Majmu' al Fatawa, the 27th volume, page 464. He says, And anyone who does not affirm, anyone who does not affirm that after the sending of Nabi Allah Muhammad, that there is no believer except those who believe in him. And they follow Nabiullah Muhammad batinan wa zahiran. They follow Nabiullah Muhammad externally and internally. After Nabiullah Muhammad came, the only Muslim that exists is who? The one who follows Nabiullah Muhammad. Who follows him what? Batinan internally and he follows him zahiran externally. There's no other Muslim. Ibn Taymiyyah saying this. وَمَن لَمْ يُحَرِّمِ التَّدَيُّنِي and anyone who does not prohibit any other, taking any other religion as a religion after Nabi Allah Muhammad, so this he does he takes he you have to prohibit that there's no other way to Allah, there's no religion that one can take after Nabi Allah Muhammad has came. You cannot take Christian Christianity and Judaism as a form and a way to get closer to Allah. 
And then Shaykh al-Islam Ibn says, Bal man lam yukaffirhum. Rather. So first things, Ibn Taymiyyah is mentioning two things. First one is that there is no other religion in the eyes of Allah after Nabi Allah Muhammad came. And that Deenullah, this is the religion of Allah. It is the religion he is pleased with. It's the religion that we need to all come with after Nabi Allah Muhammad came. The second thing Ibn Taymiyyah then says is that any other religion other than Islam or the religion of Muhammad is kufr. وَمَنْ لَمْ يُكَفِّرْهُمْ And anyone who doesn't do takfir of those other religions وَيُبْغِضْهُمْ And does not hate them فَلَيْسَ بِمُسْلِمٍ He is not a Muslim بِاتِّفَاقِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ By consensus of the Muslims. He has to hate it. We all together. هذا الشيخ الإسلام تيمي الناقل الإجماع. Also a Shaykh Abdullah ibn Abdul Rahman Abu Butayn He's from the Aymah al-Da'wati al-Najdiya. He also transmits a consensus. In his kitab, in the kitab, sorry, Al-Dura al-Saniya fi Ajubat al-Najdiya. The 12th volume, page 69. He says, أَجْمَعَ الْمُسْلِمُونَ The Muslims are unanimously in agreement. عَلَىٰ كُفْرِ مَنْ لَمْ يُكَفِّرِ الْيَهُودَ وَالنَّصَارَىٰ That he is a kafir, anyone who does not make takfir of the Christians and the Jews. أَوْ شَكَّ فِي كُفْرِهِمْ Or he even doubts their kufr. Or he even doubts kufr. So that ijma' is by Sheikh Abdullah ibn Abu, uh, Abd, Abdullah ibn Abdul Rahman ibn Butayn. He mentions that in Surah uh, Durr al-Saniyah. In the 12th volume, page 69, you could also find another ijma' in Durr al-Saniyah, the 8th volume, sorry, the 8th volume, page 160. And also in Durr al-Saniyah, the 2nd volume, page 207. All of those are consensus and ijma'at that those scholars have mentioned. Ala kufri man lam yukaffir al-mushrikeena aw shakka aw shakka fi kufrihim aw sahaha madhabahum. What's the evidence that's used? The last lesson we mentioned that there's an evidence, but the ijma' itself is sufficient for an evidence. Are we all together? The fact there's consent, that's enough as an evidence. That's enough as a what? As an evidence. But there is an evidence that they still stand on, and the evidence in which they all agreed upon, which is the statement of the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, that the Prophet said, man qala la ilaha illallah, anyone who says la ilaha illallah, وَكَفَرَ بِمَا يُعْبَدُ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ And he disbelieves in anything that is worshipped besides Allah. What happens? حَرُمَ مَالُهُ وَدَمْ His blood and his wealth is prohibited. Meaning you can't wage war on them. You, he's your brother. He's your what? He's your Muslim brother. So what did the Prophet Sallallahu connect Usma to? He only connected to two things, blood and uh, money, the, the isma, the protection of the person's blood and, 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 and what do you call it, the person's wealth. He connected it to two things. The first one is that the person says, La ilaha illallah. And remember, La ilaha illallah here doesn't mean mujarrad al that the person just merely says the word. Of course, it means that the person comes with what, it encount- what is needed from them. And the second thing that the hadith mentions is, الْكُفْرُ بِمَا يُعْبَدُ مِنْ دُونِ اللَّهِ This belief of that which is worshipped what? Besides Allah. So what does it mean, kufr, of what is worshipped besides Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? It means takfiru mushrikina, that you consider the disbelievers as kuffar. وَالْبَرَاءَةُ مِنْهُمْ You free yourself from them. أَوْ مِمَّا يَعْبُدُونَ مِنْ دُونِ مَعَ اللَّهِ Or that which they worship with, besides Allah. And anyone who doesn't make takfir of them, فَهُوَ مِثْلُهُمْ He's like them. He's like them. Even if he says, I hate their religion. Wallahi, I don't like their religion. Wallahi, I only, I only love Islam and I only love Muslims. That, dis, that doesn't still make him a what? A believer. He's, no, he's not a believer. If you hate Christianity, you hate Judaism as a religion, but you think they are not disbelievers. You are a what? You are a kafir مِثْلُهُمْ You are a kafir like them. You're a disbeliever like them. So, the author here, Sheikh Islam Hamla Abdul Hab, in the Kitab Ad Durr Saniyah, second volume, page 22. By the way, this book, what the, what, this book I keep referencing all the time, Ad Durr Saniyah. Does anyone know what that book is? Does anyone here know what Durr Saniyah is? Ad Durr Saniyah is basically. The works and the statements and the verdicts and the author's works and messages and letters and uh, 
of Muhammad Abdul Lahab and his offspring and his students. All of their statements are in there. It's a 15 volume book, right? Yeah? It's a 15 volume book. It has his, Ibn Muhammad Abdul Lahab's verdict, his fatwas. It also has the fatwa of who? Ha? His grandchildren, his own sons, his students. Um, that's why it's called A'immatu Da'watin Najdiya. Najdiya, scholars from Najd, where he's from. So you find their statements there. So Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, in that book, he's got Rasail uh, and things that he says. He says, Deenul Islami wa qa'idatu amran. The religion of Islam, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab says, it's a very powerful statement. He says, the religion of Islam and its foundation are two things. Are we all together? It's the religion's foundation. And what Islam stands on are two things. Al-awwal, the first one is Al-amru bi'ibadati Allahi wahdahu la sharika lah. The first foundation that Islam stands on it is to worship Allah alone and not to associate partners with Him. وَالتَّحْرِيضُ عَلَى ذَلِكَ وَالْمُوَالَاتُ فِيهِ وَالتَّكْفِيرُ مَنْ تَرَكَهُ And that is to show allegiance and love to the person who comes with that and to consider and kufr the person who leaves that. Number two. The second foundation that Islam stands on is what? الْإِنْذَارُ عَنِ الْإِشْرَاكِ عَنِ الشِّرْكِ فِي عِبَادَةِ اللَّهِ to warn, to warn against what? Shirk. To warn against shirk in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ibadah. Wa taghlidhu fi dhalika and to be very staunch in this matter. Wal mu'adatu fi and to based hate on that. Wa takfiru man fa'alahu and to grade kufr the person who leaves it. So who comes with it, sorry, who comes with shirk? Who comes with what? Who comes with shirk? So we mentioned f so far three points, sorry, two points. The first point that we mentioned was the ijma' of what? Ala kufri man lam yukafir mathabata kufru bi nasin shar'i, sah? The ijma' of the scholars. And how many consensus did we transmit? We brought three consensus. Be beautiful. Then the second point that we spoke about is what? The evidences for what? Ala kufri man lam yukafir il kafir. The evidence for it, صح? And we brought the famous hadith of the Prophet ﷺ, man qala la ilaha illallah wa kafara bima yu'badu min duni allahi asama maluhu wa damuhu. So, now we're going to move on to the third point, inshaAllah ta'ala. The third point, third point is some examples, okay, of things that the kufr is wadih, it's jelly. The kufr is clear, it is apparent, okay, in which we need to make those people kufar, and we should not doubt it. And if we don't, and we excuse them, and we justify it for them, we will fall into the kufr as well. For example, <coughs> A, what Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, he said in his kitab, Asarim al-Masulul ala al-Rasul, page 586. With the tahqiq of Muhammad Muhyiddin Abdul Hamid. He said, Shaykh al Islam Muhammad Abdul Shaykh al Islam ibn Taymiyyah says this anybody who insults the companions, okay, and he claims that Ali radiallahu ta'ala anhu is a ilah, or they claim he is a prophet, and Jibreel did a mistake in passing the message over, there's no doubt that this individual is a kafir. And there is rather no doubt that he's a kafir, the one, the one who doesn't make takfir of them. Shaykh al-Islam Taymi saying this. Let me repeat that one more time. Anybody who insults the companions, anybody who what? Who insults the companions, and claims that Ali ibn Abi Talib is a ilah, or they claim Ali is a prophet from Allah, and that Jibreel did a mistake in passing the message over to to who? To Ali ibn Abi Talib. He did a mistake by passing over to Ali ibn Abi Talib. فَهَذَا لَا شَكَّ فِي كُفْرِهِ This is there's no doubt this person is kufr. 
بَلَّا شَكَ الرَّاضِ Ibn Taymiyyah says, there is no doubt في كفر من توقف في تكفيره there is no doubt of the takfir of the one who withholds takfir on them. Does that make sense? That's a powerful statement. إِذَنْ الرَّافِضَ are what? They're disbelievers. They are what? They are dif- dis- disbelievers. Those Ismailiyah, the Nusayriyah of Surya, okay? Those Nus- the Nusayriyah of Surya, of Surya, are what? Who believe Ali ibn Abi Talib is what? Ali is a ilah to them. They are kuffar bi ijma'il muslimina. We all together. They all fall under the statement of Shaykh al-Islam here. Also, Shaykh al-Islam Taymiyyah talks about a group of people who claimed Islam, who believed in what is known as ittihadiyah, madhab al-ittihadiyah. What does madhab al-ittihadiyah mean? Madhab al-ittihadiyah was a group of people who believed what is known is in English, I think it's called pantheism, sah? Huh? Wahdat al yeah. Shaykh al-Islam Taymi, when he was talking about them, he said about them, are we all together? They believe Allah tabarak wa ta'ala, he's inside the creation, or they believe Allah tabarak wa ta'ala and everything became one. In tahadi, that's their belief. What you're looking at is Allah. Ibn Taymi said about them, وَأَقْوَالُ هَؤُلَاءِ These individual statements شَرٌ مِنْ أَقْوَالِ النَّصَارَى is more evil than the statements of the Christians. وَفِيهَا مِنَ التَّنَاقُضِ مِنْ جِنْسِ مَا فِي أَقْوَالِ النَّصَارَى And there's also a contradiction in their statements just like there's a contradiction in the statement of the Christians. And the Christians, what did they try to say? They tried to say that Isa is 100% human and is 100% divine. Have you ever heard that before? Two opposites and he's 100% both of them. Are you with me? These are like that as well. These individuals are like that. They're worse than that because they've made the human, the normal individual, Allah. Uh, at least the Christians, they've restricted it to who? To Isa ibn Maryam. But both of them are contradicting Ibn Taymiyyah. Uh, Sometimes they meant, they claim Hulul means that Allah is inside the creation. Sometimes they create, they claim ittihadiyah that they emerged. And they're two different things. It's a, it's a methodology, it's a belief that contradicts itself. Uh, it's full of contradictions. And because of that, what they do is they place the cloak over the people's faces, those who don't understand them. All of those statements are kufr. Ittihadiyya, hululiyya, all of them are kufr. Batin and wadahiran, externally and internally. Bi ijma'i kulli muslim. This is a consent by every muslim. By every muslim. Wa man shakka fi kufri haulai. Pay attention to this. Anyone who then now doubts the kufr of these people. Ba'da ma'rifati qawlim, after knowing their statement. Ah, look at Shaykh al-Sam Taymi, Mr. Harri. Are you there? Because one of the people who said this is who? Ibn Arabi. Ibn Arabi is a kafir. Ibn Arabi is a kafir. They call him Muhyiddin Ibn Arabi. Well, he's a Muhyiddin. He didn't give no life to the deen. He's Mumit al-Deen. He killed the religion. But there's some people who thought Ibn Arabi is a Muslim. Uh, there were some people, some scholars, that thought Ibn Arabi was a Muslim. Uh, and so when they, when they found out later, some of them, they came back from it. Like Shaykh al-Islam Taymiyyah. When he found out Ibn Arabi's beliefs and he stood over his statements, he considered them to be what? He considered them to be from, from the kuffar. Like in there are some scholars who didn't. That's why the statement of Ibn Taymiyyah is, look, he says, وَمَنْ شَكَّ فِي كُفْرِ هَؤُلَىٰ Anyone who does shak doubts these people's kufr. بَعْدَ مَعْرِفَةِ قَوْلِهِمْ That's after knowing their statements. Uh, you can't hold me account if I haven't stood over the person's statement. I haven't seen it. وَمَعْرِفَةِ And knowing Deen al-Islami And knowing the religion of Islam فَوَا كَافِرٌ Then that person is a kafir If the person knows the statements of these individuals And he knows the religion of Islam What it believes If he then starts to doubt The kufr of these people Then he becomes a disbeliever 
كمن يشك is like the person who doubts في كفر اليهود والنصارى والمشركين he doubts what what does he doubt he doubts the kufr of the yahud and the nasara and the pagans the polytheists are we all together so that's some examples of things that are kufr that the person has to what he has to what um, know that if a person comes to this kafir those are examples The fourth one right now, sah? The fourth, which is? Is that sometimes it could be possible, it could be possible that something may become hidden from a group of people. Huh? Yeah? That was the third one. No, it's the third one. Yeah? Oh, I'm talking about fourth point. We've moved up. I just told you A, right? And then if B was the uh, the Ittahadiya al Huluriya. Yes, we finished that example now. We're now moving to the fourth point now. Does that make sense? We've just done a couple of ex- those two examples. We're now going to move on to the fourth point. The fourth point, which is sometimes a matter, it might be clear and also established in the Quran and the Sunnah that is kufr. But it might, it might be hidden from some people. Some people, it might, it might be hidden from them. Some people's ignorance hasn't allowed them to really know the reality of this particular Belief. Are we all together? And many people today, well, many people who haven't really read into the uh, Brailwi and the Diobandis really think there's a big difference between the two. The matter is not like that. The Diobandiya, they believe what the Brailwis believe. And their khilaf is a khilaf which is lafzi. <coughs> Anything that you accuse the Brewiya for fundamentally to be shirk and kufr akbar, you should, you should also affirm it for who? The Diobandiya. Are we all together? The difference between the two of them is that the Brewis are courageous to tell you what they believe. And they say it, they vocalize it. صح? The Diobandiyas, يُظْهِرُونَ شَيْئًا They show you something. وَيُبْطِنُونَ شَيْئًا آخر. They're hiding something else. Are we all together? So the madhab is made to believe, so many people are made to believe that there is a farq, shasa' بَيْنَهُمَا that, But their khilaf is khilaf lafti. They just have technical, taqdeem and ta'khir. And don't be vocal about it like that. and Calm down. That's the difference between the Brailwis and the Diobandiyas. Are we all together? Like in the Kufr Akbar that's with the Brailwis and the Shirk which is with them is also with the Diobandiyas. Same is with them. But see, as I said to you before, even though it's clear and it's apparent, but it may be hidden from some people because of their uh, ignorance of this particular, in, particular issue. And the distance that some people have gone from the Kitab and the Sunnah and they went against uh, their ignorance of the ijma' of the ummah, some people. This is what's led them to. And this is sometimes what happens. وَلِذَلِكَ الشَّيْخْ سُلَيْمَانْ ibn Abdullah, from the, one of the Aymat al-Da'wat al-Najdiyya, he speaks about this particular issue, which is when he was asked about What's the ruling of a person who does not make takfir of those who are kuffar? He says, لا يخلو ذلك على عن أن يكون شاكا في كفر أو جهلا. He says, okay, the matter needs explanation now. He says, لا يخلو ذلك. This matter is not absent from. 
an an yakuna shaakan that the person is in a state of doubt in their kufr or he is ignorant of it or he might say that these people are kafara they are disbelievers but he is unable to come out openly and say it he is unable we're going to come to the issue of mudahana the person is actually scared to say that they are kufar fear that something might happen to him he says rahimahullah or he is what ignorant as i said about their kufr the sheikh then says rahimahullah ta'ala fa in kana shaakan fi kufrim aw jahilan bi kufrim bayyanat lahu al-adillah min kitab Allah wa sunnah rasul ala kufrin bayyanat lahu al-adillah the evidences will be made clear to him will be said to him akhi this person that you're you're justifying it for or you're, you're speaking for or this is the reality of their situation. The evidence of the Quran and the Sunnah, first of all, classifies this issue to be kufr akbar. And I, this person believes this because they've said these statements. It will, make me clear, it will be made clear to this person. فَإِنْ شَكَّ بَعْدَ ذَلِكَ If he then starts to carry on doubting the issue, أَوْ تَرَدَّدَ And then he's going back and forth, فَإِنَّهُ كَافِرٌ بِإِجْمَاعِ الْعُلَمَاء He becomes a kafir by consensus of the Muslims. عَلَىٰ أَنَّ مَنْ شَكَّ فِي الْكَافِرِ فَهُوَ كَافِرٌ That's an important issue to keep in mind. Num- point number five. And it's something we already spoke about what? We already spoke about it in the muqaddima of Nawaqud al-Islam. Which is, yajibu an ta'lama. Ama yajibu an ta'lama. It is obligatory for it to be known. And that takfir hukm shar'i. That takfir, classifying a person as a kafir, is a hukm shar'i. What does it mean hukm shar'i? It's a ruling taken from the Quran and the sunnah. It has to be. وَحَقُّ الْمَحْضُ لِلَّهِ تَعَالَى لَا يَمْلِكُ أَحَدٌ وَلَا جَمَعَةٌ no, but no one owns kufr. It's like he gives it out when he wishes to. No, no one does. Nor does any group own it. وَلَا يَجُوزُ إِطْرَاقُ عَلَىٰ أَحَدٍ And it is also not permissible to unrestrictedly label kufr على أحد on any individual بمجرد هوا أو قياس based on mere assumption or based upon qiyas, analogy. If he's a kafir, then he's his friend, they will, he's also be a kafir. Qiyas, analogy like that. Aqli, la. وَلِذَلِكَ الشَّيْخُ الْإِسْلَامِ بِنُ تَيْمِيَ السَّنَ And we brought the statement before. He said, إِنَّ الْإِجَابَ وَالتَّحْرِيمَ وَالثَّوَابُ وَالْعِقَابُ وَالتَّكْفِيرُ وَالتَّفْسِيقُ هُوَ إِلَى اللَّهِ وَرَسُولِهِ Shaykh al-Islam bin Taymiyyah said, to be made something wajib, something to become wajib, whose rights is that? Who can say this is wajib? Who says this is wajib? Allah. Who can say something is haram? Allah. Who can say there's a reward in this issue? Allah. Who can say there's a punishment in this issue? Allah. Takfir and tafsiq are also the same. Only Allah can say this is fisq. And only Allah can say this is what? Kufr. Only Allah can. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Huwa ila Allah. It is to Allah wa Rasulih and the Messenger. Because the Messenger conveys on behalf of Allah. Wa tahrimu ma harramahu Allah wa Rasuluh. And making haram that which Allah and His Messenger made haram. And then these issues of Al-Wajib, Al-Tahreem, Al-Iqab, Al-Thawab, Al-Takfir, Al-Tafseeq, even Al-Tabdi'ah, even Al-Tabdi'ah, to say Fulaz Abu Tadi'ah, all of these are to Allah and His Messenger. You can't just place on who you wish and who you want. Are we all together? Um, وَلِذَلِكَ ابْنُ الْقَيِّمْ سَيْزِ الْإِزْنُونِيَ الْكُفْرُ حَقُّ اللَّهِ ثُمَّ رَسُولُهُ Kufr is Allah's rights and the rights of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. بِالنَّصِ يَثْبُتُ لَا بِقَوْلِ فُلَانِ And it's established with the textual evidences not so and so said so. مَنْ كَانَ رَبُّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَعَبْدُهُ قَدْ كَفَّرَاهُ فَذَاكَ ذُو الْكُفْرَانِ Anyone who Allah has... Anyone Allah and His Messenger have made takfir on, then fada kadul kufrari, then this person is a kafir. Al Ibn al Wazir al Yamani al Sanani, Rahimallah, in his great kitab, Al Awasim wal Qawasim, fourth volume, page 178, he says, Inna takfira mahdun 
سمعي محض لا مدخل للعقل فيه ابن الوزير اليماني he says that تكفير is what what's تكفير تكفير is سمعي محض it's based upon textual evidence clearly لا مدخل للعقل فيه there's no place where logic comes in some people they make takfir on a person by saying no this cannot be no no he sees it big in his head and he sees it big in his mind so then this is kufr that's it how can this be islam look at him he's drinking uh, alcohol with them he's a kafir huh? so we say in the takfir it's textual evidence only not how big you see it or how rationally this is this is only like somebody will say to you uh, when you say it's not this is not kufr akbar i mean sorry this person is not kafir they'll say to you yeah, it doesn't make sense what does it mean it doesn't make sense are you saying that we're going to use our logic huh takfir is is, is just follow is what submit Kufr is kufr. It's not, it's not. This, whether it makes sense to you or not, it doesn't matter. Also, he said, Ibn al Wazir al Yamani, he said, In the Dalila al Kufri wal Fusk wal Fisk, la yakun illa samiyan katriyan wal ani zaafi dalik. He says, The Dalil is that kufr and fisk is not accepted by textual evidence. Click up. Wal ani zaafi dalik, and no scholar differed on that particular issue. That kufr and takfir and even tafsiq, all of them are what? They are based upon clear evidence. Are you with me? And then no one can say to you, Ibn Baz made takfir of this person on this issue, or Fulan made takfir of this issue, or Allah made takfir on this issue. That does not make it what? It doesn't make it takfir. It becomes kufr when we, when we ask, what's the evidence that he applied on this particular issue? Are we all, t- are we all together? Does that make sense? It's very important that we understand that. And Imam al-Shawkani who mentions the same in his kitab Sayyid al-Jarar, we mentioned all of this before. We mentioned all of this in the, in the Muqaddimah. We're now going to move on to the, uh, the fourth naqid. We're going to now move on to the fourth naqid. The fourth nullifier. Which is man i'taqada. Anyone who believes. Anna ghayra hadi al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Anyone who believes. Other than the Prophet's guidance, Akmalu min hadihi is more complete than the Prophet's guidance. Anyone who believes that there's a guidance out there, more guiding, more complete than Nabiullah Muhammad's religion and Muhammad Sallallahu way of life, oh, and the hukma ghayrihi, or he believes that other than Nabiullah Muhammad's rulings, is ahsan min hukmihi, better than the Prophet's rulings. Kalladheena, like those, yufaddiluna hukma tawaghit, like those who give presidents. What do they give? Presidents. They give virtue to man-made constitutions and laws. Tawaghit. Ala hukmihi over Allah's laws and the Messenger, alayhi salatu wasalam. Fahuwa kafirun. Then this person is a kafir. He believes that there's guidance out there better than the Prophet's guidance. Or he believes that the Prophet's laws are what? There are other laws better than it. Are we all together? Like those who give superiority. What do they give superiority to? Tawagheet. Man made constitution, man made laws. Over the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَوَا كَافِرٌ is a kafir, this person. He believes Western way of life is better than Nabi Muhammad's religion and guidance. Are we all together? Or he believes that the law of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the law of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam each and every one of them are not as good as the 21st century man-made laws. He believes 
This is a barbaric, uh, absurd religion. Sahih? This person is a what? For what? Kafirun. It's a kafir. Now, if this person is a kafir, pay attention to this. Can somebody justify their kufr? Can somebody uh, pay attention to this? The khutura of this issue. So if this person is a kafir by the Sheikh's statement, inshallah ta'ala, ta we're going to show the ijma' of the ummah's consensus is, is, is here. That anyone who gives virtue over a man-made law or anything, any other way, gives that virtue over the Prophet's guidance and the Prophet's way. Then he's a kafir by ijma'. There's no khilaf. Lam fi ithlan min al Two Muslims have not differed on that issue. We're going to bring that, inshallah ta'ala, consensus of the scholars. Or the person who believes that the Prophet ﷺ is guidance and this guidance, this is more complete. This way of life that we're living in, the Western way of life is more complete, for instance. Then this individual, he's a kafir by consensus. Anybody who justifies it and says, Allah, I can see where you're coming from. Or even propagates that person's message. Like, subhanAllah, as we see today, a people who tweet that, a tweet a person who's apostated from Islam. Apostated from Islam. Taraku deen Allah. These persons left the religion. And you see Ahmed and Khalid and Zayd and Amina and Aisha and Fatima tweeting this and propagating this message. It's dangerous. Very dangerous. It's what? Very, very dangerous. We'll leave this one, inshallah ta'ala, this naqid for next week because it's very long, very, very long. We're going to have many points regarding it. We'll leave there, inshallah ta'ala. Anything which I have said that was wrong or incorrect is from me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdik. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayh.